Finally, Josh, do you have any three tips for job seekers in terms of elevating their job search? Yeah, um, I was thinking about this a lot recently. My wife um, just got a new job. So we've, for the past six months, we've been going through this in my house. Um, I think number one is don't apply for all the jobs. <laughs> apply, yeah. find the job. I, I, I really believe in a very focused approach. Uh, I think that if there is a, a posting that's out there, um, because of the internet and all the tools, it's easy to get flooded. And you can think of a hiring manager as just getting absolutely flooded with every possible uh, resume and application. So in order to cut through the clutter, I think you have to really put the time and energy into it. Don't just do a scattershot approach. And following up on that, something my wife did, every time there was a job that she was really interested in, she would go and um, do something special to make herself stand out. Um, she delivered donuts after she had applied. She Even, though, even if she applied through a, a website like Indeed, she went and figured out the hiring manager or the manager's email address, even though it wasn't listed. She figured that out and wrote an email, just following up. Um, and then once she did get in the door, she would bring, she broke, she would always bring a little plant or something nice for the office, something that made it feel like she was, she cared. And I think that really helps uh, distinguish yourself from, uh, from other folks. Um, I would say the last thing, and, and you and I were talking about this, which is um, here, again, here in the Bay Area and Silicon Valley, the average tenure is uh, for, uh, for an employee is 18 months because kind of uh, uh, employees will have the opportunity to jump around, to switch jobs. We no longer you know, stay at a company for a decade. And so I think as an employee, you have to understand the um, challenge that that places on an organization, on a manager, on a hiring manager. And if there is a way to um, talk about how you can onboard a little quickly, more quickly, how you can provide value um, from day one, I think is a really nice way to think about that. And if you can commit to a certain amount of time, I think that's going to make you more desirable as a candidate. Um, I don't think it's a trend that's, that is going away, mm -hmm. but I do think it's something that's really important to understand. And that's, that's what folks are, I think that's what on the inside of organizations, that's what they're thinking about. And they want to know that they're not going to waste their time by hiring somebody that is going to be leaving shortly. Okay. Those are great tips, uh, Josh. Thank you for sharing with, uh, with me and the audience. And with that, uh, my interview with you comes to an end. Thank you again for taking the time to ask you those questions. And for the audience, uh, if you have any other tips in terms of uh, helping job seekers, please leave it in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, like and share the video. Reach out to our social media uh, platforms and we would like to connect with you. And if you have any other questions, we're here to help. And tune in next time for another great interview that I'm hoping to get to you. And again, thank you, Josh. See you around. All right. Thanks.